everyone, it's me, Emily. I am sitting here on the floor of my kitchen because this is where I keep my photo booth. And I'm here because the Lisa Jukebox is done. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to say that it's done because this thing has been kicking my butt. Um, but yeah, it's done and I'm really excited to show it off to all of you. Let me take you through it. Everything you see here on the left side controls the horizontal deflection and everything you see here on the right side controls the vertical deflection. You have frequency range selection here at the top. You have amplitude, which I've labeled wideness and tallness. You have fine frequency adjustment. You have coarse frequency adjustment. And then down here, these switches, down there a little bit. These switches here control your waveform. So you can switch for each deflection. So each axis, you can switch between triangle, sine, or square using this combination. And here in the center, you have the zoom knob. What this does is it changes the amplitude for both axes in unison. So if you turn this one direction, you shrink your pattern and you turn it the other direction and you grow your pattern. We have a switch to turn the backlight on and we have a switch to turn the sound on. I'll turn the sound on real quick. You're not going to hear me talk over it because it gets pretty loud. Okay, so that's the sound function. We also have lights. And the light switch here turns on a grid of self-blinking LEDs that reside in the back of the case. Okay, so as you can see, it's really dark right now. But as soon as I flip this light switch on, the LED matrix is gonna come on. I shouldn't call it a matrix, it's not a matrix. It's a bunch of LEDs in parallel. And when I first flip this switch on, you're gonna see them all kind of blink on in unison, and then they're gonna get out of sync really quick. So those are the front controls. You're probably not watching this video to hear me talk and yammer about this thing. So instead, why don't I just take you through some of the patterns you can make with it?